Good evening, everyone. My name's Heath Haskins, Code Prime, and welcome back to another Lumber Tycoon 2 video. So, uh, lots of stuff's been happening on Twitter and everything else, and I was actually asked a couple by a couple people, like, dude, you've been through a lot. Do you want to, like, take a break? Actually, no. I'm super hyped about the controversy and everything that was going on on the Twitter. Like, that was exciting. Exciting stuff. I know that um, my interpretation of what I had said was very misconstrued and not very well written, and that is my fault. It was late whenever I made the statements, and it was trying to break up an argument and everything else. Anyhow, um, enough fuel for the fire. I'm not going to discuss it. We are going to build in lumber. That is the whole point of my videos, and what we are going to do tonight uh, is build the next thing. Hello. <clears throat> Should we, uh, should we open the, the, yes, you have one, let's, let's do it, if you, if you got one of the presents, then let's, let's open it, I mean, I got a bunch of these, and that's, that's gonna make somebody mad, that's gonna make somebody mad, that's gonna make somebody mad, <laughs> I got a bunch of, uh, of these particular presents, and that, that probably just freaks some people out. Like, no, don't open it. It's so much more expensive if it's inside the container. <clears throat> I know. Hey, I already have some wood detectors. What in the world? I need to, I need to sort that. That needs to come over here with our construction stuff. Hello. Oh, and there's a wire. Oh, my gosh. I do have a messy base. <clears throat> Thank you. Um, did I get... I did not get these put in. Oh gosh, that needs to go over here. And that one fell out. My goodness. Um, should I put in some doors? Maybe. Do you think? Think I should put in some doors? Maybe. Maybe. I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure that I should. Uh, do I have any more birch wood? I think that's the reason I didn't open this one here. Okay, that's okay. We can we can stick it in there and <clears throat> we'll just we'll pretend like it's surrounded. I guess I really don't I don't need to encase them. Uh, the whole point of encasing was so when the wood drops down it wouldn't knock them around all over the place. But like this this spot over here, this has got no room. No room to grow! All this horsepower and no room to gallop! There we go. That's a good spot. Oh, oh excuse me. Excuse me. Uh, by the way, yes, it's the ramen king. Uh, the person that I stuck the, the ramen noodle helmet on. Oh, gosh. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Um, he's back. Hello. Let's open this one. And we're going to need to turn it on like that. And then stick you in the corner like this. <clears throat> So, I did want to give a, like a huge shout out and huge thank you to everyone that was um, inside the feeds and, and supporting me and also to the ones that were um, trying to call me out for things. Like, that was that was very intense. And I don't want to be that kind of person that's like, I'm innocent, I didn't do anything, no, no, no. I'm not, I'm not doing that. I said my piece uh, and that's, oh wait, why am I taking that back over? <laughs> I need to go get the other one. And... I, I liked it. A lot of people, they get upset at controversy and they, they get um, anxious about um, fights or, or disagreements of any kind. And I'm one to apologize the moment I find out that I've actually made a horrible mistake or I've done something actually wrong. So. And, to tell you the truth, I didn't even know what canceling was until yesterday. And I'm like, oh, is that a, a thing? And I didn't know. I didn't know what the term of it was or anything else. But, apparently, that's what they were doing. <clears throat> but, I don't think it worked. Anyhow, I wanted to tell you guys, if you're online... If you're inside a forum, or if you're inside a group, or Twitter, Facebook, doesn't matter the case, if you're there, is this a door? That is a door, wow. Um, 
there will be bullies. There will be people who attack you with no apparent reason. There will be people who just straight up claim things that aren't true. And there's a certain point. There is a spot. And you can't really tell. But if somebody is a troll and they're not going to listen to anything that you have to say, you're wrong and that's it. You, there's not really much, too much you can do. You can't convince somebody that you're like anything. So be sure to know when to block and when to have an actual discussion with someone because there are lots of people out there and we still hold to the same truths as we did back in 1990 whenever it was just AOL. We are anonymous. We don't have a face. Um, we can be anybody that we want online. And we hide behind that anonymity to speak out our voice and to say something to the crowds and to the masses and to, to each other. Be nice in doing so. Just, you can have a conversation. You don't have to insult people. Insulting is like so... 2013. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, it's it's really, it, it doesn't have a place in the internet world of today. I've also seen a lot of um, the current politics that are going on at this time and a lot of current events that are going on at this time. And I also want to say that I'm not going to engage in those as well. Um, not because I don't believe in them and not because I don't stand for some of the things that they're standing for and causes but because I don't want to get in the middle of all of that. Um, and you might not know this, but as far as Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump, I've got them blocked on Twitter because I don't want to hear what they have to say. No offense. I will respect the office and respect the position that Mr. Trump holds, the Honorable Mr. Trump holds, but I don't have to listen to his Twitter feed. So, that's that. <clears throat> and I've done that with quite a few like celebrities and higher up people that I just don't agree with. And I don't think you're being... I'm not going to talk about it. <clears throat> not going to talk about it! <clears throat> Moving on, we are... What am I doing? Um, I had an actual purpose here for a second. Um, here. Uh, oh, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. You had a present? Yes? Where is it? Oh, he's waiting to be knighted again. I want to be knighted! Ramen Noodle King! Yes! Yes, Queen! Where that noodle? <laughs> yeah, where's, where's the present that, dude? Oh, it's a coal gift! It's coal! This is it. That's cool. I know this one. <laughs> oh, you've seen it. <laughs> yes. I have the originals. <laughs> like the ones that I bought from Bob Shack. I've been around a while. <clears throat> Did you know you can put it in the volcano and it will start to cook. It turns bright red. <laughs> bright reed. It turns bright reed. Red. Red. And puts off glow and particles. Particles. Should we go and test it? Sure. Here, open it up. Open her up. <clears throat> Boom. Maybe, can can I? Yeah, I can't open it. Maybe you should go test it. Open it first. <laughs> Yay. Yes. Okay, this way. <laughs> Yoink. Oh, oh, oh. 
Or is he is he taking it up there? All right, let's go. Actually, is there a piece of coal? Do I have? Do I have some coal on these presents? I wonder. Doesn't look like I've got any coal. I bet I've got coal in there somewhere. Hold up. No coal. No coal. No coal. Messy base. Hopefully be organized soon. Oh, is it? Nope, that's a chicken axe. Chicken axe. Chicken, chicken, chicken. Anything hiding under here? Anything hiding under here? Nope. You know, I've never taken hot cocoa up there. I wonder if hot cocoa would... <gasps> that would be amazing if it, like, started steaming and the, the marshmallows, like, disappeared and became all chocolatey and stuff. That'd be pretty cool. Whee! Hot cocoa? I don't know. It's, it's a test. It's definitely a test that we can try. Um, the other stuff that you can put in here are the turkeys. Um, you can bring the turkeys up and they will cook. I think they cook in the oven too. I know they used to. What would be really cool is like if you could put wood into the fridge and it would turn into like ice wood or something like that. That or if you put the ice wood into the oven. Hmm. Can you melt ice wood? Yoink. Alright, we have to back up to just just here. Okay. So. Lights. We can put this back here. Put the coal to the back. Yep, it'll it'll start glowing here in a little bit. Oh, it's cooking already. Look at that. It's already starting to cook. Smiley face. <clears throat> It's getting on fire! Ow! Oh, did you guys hear my elbow? Oh, I'm getting so old! Uh, I've been playing lumber way too long! I remember back in my day! Uh -oh. I was about to die. Oh. Okay, okay. Hey, 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 hey. Stop moving. There it goes. It's starting to turn on fire. And I think it's turning to glow as well. <laughs> He's like, I'm sorry, good. All good. That's really cool. Yes. Uh, if you leave it for about one hour or 30 minutes, it will glow for hours on end. I don't remember the exact numbers, um, but let's see. Actually, um, the Wikia page, uh, the fandom page, Lumber, Tycoon 2, fandom, Wikia page. There we go. Let's go look at items. And we are looking for coal. Coal, coal, coal. The old gift of oxidation. No. Hmm. Lump. Oh, would it be under L for lump of coal? Yeah, there it is. 
Found it. So, the lump of coal. Whoa, what is this? Is that an advertisement? You guys have ads on... Okay. Okay. <sighs> the uh, lump of coal was wrapped gift at Bob's. It was a 2015 Christmas event. Um, it was the poorly wrapped gift. Um, and the design is really realistic designed, having black edges and coal-like surface, and has highlighted areas to affect depending on the position and where its illumination is coming from, blah, 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 blah. Okay, and then uh, the boxed rock color gravel texture, which is one of the instances of the texture of lumber, okay. Blah, 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 blah. There we go. If the lump of coal has been placed inside the volcano for about 10 to 15 minutes, it will ignite, uh, revealing an orange rock um, with a highlight of yellow in the middle. <clears throat> and the flaming particles blow out from the coal when it's on fire. The longer the coal stays in the volcano, the longer it will be on fire. So the exact numbers of it are not known, I guess but it will ignite on fire. I guess the cup, of, the cup of hot cocoa isn't doing anything, so. At least I don't, I don't see any differences. What does the cocoa do? <laughs> it steams. Then you give it to the man under the bridge. Feed me, and it takes you to the start times biome where you can get start times or uh, willow wood. It's not true. It's not true at all. Don't listen. Oh my gosh, I never knew that. It's because it's not true. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I was just testing the cup. I couldn't find my own coal. That's alright, I can take a joke. <laughs> you tricked us. I I did. And I was funny about it. So, um Oh my gosh, I just realized that my health bar goes through my money. Up there at the top. And I, I can't make that run, can I? code can sign the base after this um yes but i don't want to wait for 10 15 minutes so as soon as it turns orange we go okay and it is it is starting to turn a little bit but you can also tell that the the red glow is starting to happen Um, I think if you take them up there, if you, if you bring them up t um, in like troves of 20 or more and you put them all in at the same time, like you... No, because they'd all go off at the same time, wouldn't they? Never mind. Never mind. Uh, if you're wanting a nice fire effect for like a fireplace, take a couple of fire axes, lay them down underneath whatever you're building, and the particles coming out will look like fire flames. So. I also heard you say an outro yesterday. My voice? Awesome. <laughs> Is it on fire yet? Not yet, it's not on fire. It's not on fire, fire. 
Okay, I'm bored. And we go. Here, let's go. <laughs> it's on fire! This coal is on fire! This coal is on fire! This hot chocolate's on fire! <laughs> I wonder if he's ever gonna make like a microwave. That'd be funny. Put the coal inside the microwave, it starts to glow green. It wouldn't happen in real life, so he wouldn't make it happen like that. <sighs> cool seeing the real code primate in this lobby. Where am I taking your coal to? Question mark. Oh, oh, oh. Bump. Oh, I can keep it. Cool. Thank you. But I'm not white wasted. I, I don't mind free presents, thank you. I guess I'm gonna have to like clear out some of these uh, some of these trucks. Let's let's go ahead and do that. Um, because I have a feeling that a lot of these trucks just don't belong to me. So. Oh 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 oh. oh, oh. And jump! <clears throat> Maybe we can get the, the base cleared off a little bit. Alright, come on, get over there. There you go. Get over. Scooch on over. There we go. Okay. Get this off to the side. <laughs> Okay, that is completely stuck. So we need to go three floors, tiny floor. And we can go, what is it? Um, turn. Oh, there we go. Um, can we do rotate? Rotate. Uh oh, uh oh. Turn, 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 turn. turn. Turn, turn, turn. There we go. Uh, let's see. And we'll do another rotate right there. Come on. There we go. Wee. Code versus truck. <laughs> Code wins. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, for your next. <laughs> Human versus car trick. It's a car trick. Get it? Instead of a card trick, it's a car trick. Never mind. Bad joke code. It's one of them dad jokes again. <laughs> Margaret grabbed it. Grabbed the tape recorder. Got them them dad jokes going on again. <laughs> Oh gosh. Oh, oh. Um, by the way, since quarantine and since quarantine started, and I know a lot of cities are still opening up and a lot of stuff's going on, I am still a stay-at-home worker. So my uh, my work status is I'm working from the house. I'm working from home, and I love it. I would want to do this for now and forever because it is is great. I don't have to spend any time in the morning to like actually get ready. I throw some gel in my hair, I uh, shave my face real quick and throw a shirt on, off I go to work. Like that's that's it. That's that's my morning routine. Grab some coffee. But um, there's a lot of people out there who have been deemed um, essential workers and have to like 
go to work and do the physical labor things. And I wish the entire world could work off of uh, remote. I wish everyone could work remote because it's a great luxury to have. Um, if my wife or my kids need me any given time throughout the, the day, I'm right here outside. And that's, that's a really good feeling. I have it very, very lucky for the situation that I'm in. With that being said, I want you guys to know that YouTube itself, this is not my job. This is, this is not what I do full time. I am an application development analyst. Um, currently, I am developing bots that r work with um, a program called UiPath. I can tell you that, but I can't tell you like the details. <laughs> Hi there, buddy. What's going on, tap water? <clears throat> Hi. <laughs> um, I can't tell you the details of what I actually do, but I can tell you that it's really fun that I'm doing it. And basically, I make automation programs uh, for people. I don't do, I don't make bots to take over people's jobs, because a lot of a lot of people are worried about that, and a lot of people seem to think that that's what I'm doing at the moment. Is I'm I'm taking over jobs. I'm not. Um, the motto that I'm told to follow, the motto that I would, I, I'm going to keep following is every bot for every employee. That means like if you have a job and it's a redundant task of entering data throughout a database 200, 300, 5,000 times, then I hopefully can create you a bot that will do most of the logic for you, maybe have some interaction with you just to say, hey, you wanna verify these for me, make sure the numbers are correct and that's it. Have little things like that. But for the most part, that's, that's what I do. I make stuff happen. And I haven't touched Visual Basic in forever. Visual Basic was like my first programming language that I ever learned. And that is the programming language that I'm using now with .NET. Visual Basic .NET. Whee! Oh my gosh. Cleaning out everything. Yes, yes. Um, yes. Just a moment. So, um, yeah, that's that. I'm, I'm having a lot of fun. Um, and the meetings are kind of cool because you always have that one person, that one coworker who does YouTube or that does streaming. And you can always tell who that one person is. <laughs> so a lot of people will be at their kitchen table or they'll be sitting on the couch and you can tell you can tell the background and stuff like that me I've got my green screen up and and I'm broadcasting or I'm I'm in the voice chat from Neptune or something and I've got spaceships in the background or I'm sitting on the beach or I'm out camping just various different places I always always look at different <laughs> spots oh actually I can show you what it looks like here we go. So um, let's hide the Chrome. Here I'm sitting in my luxurious library, just having some fun, waiting for the meeting to start. And then I can also uh, I can switch over here back to Sirius and say, it's currently quarantine time and I'm down here in my bunker. I've just come up so I can get a little bit of Wi-Fi so I can attend the meeting. <laughs> or I can I can go completely black background Oh wait, that that was fade to black. I don't want to fade to black. I see a red door and I want to paint it black. <clears throat> Anyhow, that's that's what I do, and I've found different ways to like get the Discord get the Discord to work with it and to get the um, the face cam to work with uh, our communication device and background, our communication application. Basically, it's just a it's a virtual feed. It's a virtual camera that goes off OBS, takes all the feeds that I put to it, and like even right now, this screen that you're watching, this I could have on a camera. So inside a meeting, you would see exactly what you see now inside this YouTube video. So that's very cool. Oh. 
It's been 30 minutes. I, I think we're good. Thank you everyone for watching this episode of Lumber Tycoon 2 with me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate. We did not build one single thing this time, did we? There wasn't a single build, but we had we had a lot of fun. So I'm glad I got to hang out with uh, the ramen the ramen noodle king once again. Thank you for letting me open up the the coal present. I really appreciate it. Um, we'll get you some food because you look you look a little thin there, buddy. You look a little thin. And then Mr. Mouse Bacon Nose over here. Ooh. Mouse Bacon Nose. <laughs> That's a Scoob Mouse Bacon hair. <laughs> Love you guys very much. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all the cool things I'm supposed to call out like a good YouTuber does at the end of the video, but it's your choice. If you want to, go for it. If not, that's cool too. You were here. You watched. I love you for that. Thank you. And we'll talk to you very soon. Steven? Aha. Uh -huh. You were sleeping again, weren't you? I'm, it's 30 minutes, so I'm, re I'm ready for the outro. Uh, you Okay. You weren't ready? No, 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 no. I saved the I saved the same outro into the new folder whenever we moved everything over. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. That's it. That's the one. All right, I'm ready when you are. You ready? Three, two, one. Outro.